Hi, this video explains in about three minutes uh, the principle of a sine wave on a string and its equations. So connect a string to a tuning fork uh, on one end, uh, maybe the tuning fork has to be differently uh, oriented, and the other end of the string is to be connected to a wall or to a point where it's fixed. Essentially, we are looking at a string fixed between two ends. The tuning fork, uh, of course, uh, has to be vibrated and it sends out a signal and let's assume it's a sine signal. The animation shows how the sine wave moves from left to right and it bounces from the wall and when it bounces the wave shape gets inverted. That's the important thing to remember. The other important thing to note is that the wave is traveling left to right but the string is not moving left to right. The string is bobbing up and down. At any given point of time the particle on the string moves up and down. That leads to the uh, equation for the displacement of the particle. Uh, in the up-down direction in our example and the general equation is that uh, the displacement y is a function of time minus x by v where v is the velocity of the wave. Uh, for a sine wave the displacement becomes a function of the amplitude a and sine of the angle at a given point of time. So sine theta enters uh, into the equation. So t minus x by v is used when the wave is traveling from left to right we call it the forward x direction. When it gets reflected, the wave shape has got inverted, so th the term t plus x by v is used. To calculate the velocity of the string particle, which is moving up and down, uh, at a given point of time, uh, we simply differentiate the displacement with respect to time, just like speed is distance by time. So velocity of particle will be 